Hi everybody, it's Sarah and today we are going to be doing a paint pour video called a balloon smash. You're going to need a balloon for this, so hopefully you have yours with you and you have lots of hot air to blow it up. So go ahead and get that ready. I like to sit mine in a cup so that it doesn't roll all over the place as I'm preparing the canvas. Now, if you look closely at my canvas, you will see that there's another painting here. This is going to be totally covered up. You're not going to see this. I like to reuse my canvases as much as possible. This is from an event for a, a kid's event. And so I try to do multiple paintings on top for my samples so I don't have a whole bunch left over at the end. And then it's like, what do we do with them? So we recycle, we reuse, we... Uh, try to use things over as much as possible. So I have four different colors here. This is our royal blue. We have our plain white. Now I like to thin my white out a little bit extra. So add a little water to mine. And these all have our extender in them. That's going to help it last a long time. This is our light teal and our lilac or our light purple. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make, I'm going to, you know, you can put different spots on or you can drizzle it around. You just want to cover up the majority of the canvas. Maybe you want to have a certain pattern. I'm just going to make mine kind of random. It seems like you're putting a lot of paint on, but actually the amount of paint in this container is probably about the same as if you were just painting a picture. It just has our extender in it that makes it look like it has a lot more, which helps it have a longer drying time. And it also helps it stay separate from the other colors so that it creates the cells and the lacing that you want. I'm going to add a whole bunch of white in between Okay, so there's a whole lot of paint on here. It doesn't look like anything fancy right now, but we take our canvas, we lift it up, try to make sure it's over top of your drying rack and tilt it in different directions to make sure that your paint is really coating that canvas. We wanna cover all of our empty spots, just tilting it. And sometimes it looks really cool when you just tilt it and you might want to stop there. But this video is all about the balloon smash. So once you have your canvas coated completely, I'm going to wipe my hands. I make a big mess whenever I do paint pouring. And we're going to take our balloon. So I always hold it with this little uh, part, the valve at the top, something to hold on to. So you don't slip, especially if your hands get a little bit messy in the process. And you're just going to press it down all over your canvas. And you can go crazy with this. But just remember, the more you do it, now look right here. You can see, I'm going to do a nice example spot right here. See how clean it is right there? So you can see it kind of pinches it. So some people call this a balloon kiss. I like a balloon smash. All right. So if you look closely at this canvas, you'll see there's a couple little spots I missed. So I'm just going to go run and fix them. Now, the bottom of that balloon is really pretty. You can always take this balloon and transfer it onto another canvas if you want to, or keep it, let it dry and use that um, that peel that that paint and peel it off, and that's called a skin. And we can use that to create some really cool, fun things that we'll have other videos for later down the line. So, if we look closely at this, we can see. I'm going to lift it up so you can see all these little structures that are starting to form. Now, right in here, see the little white spots that are coming up from underneath the blue. The blue is separating to create these this lacing. That's called lacing. Now over here we have these blue blobs that are like on the top more. Those are cells. So there's two different things that you want to look for in a successful uh, paint pour. 
And you also want to think about the, um, the whole picture. So think of the design. Which colors do you like at the top? Which you want more, more at the bottom? Do you want to like add stuff to it once you're done with this? So thank you so much for watching this video about our balloon smash. Give us a like, a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and check out the other videos we have coming up. So again, balloon smash, super fun, or balloon kiss, whatever you like better. So thank you guys, and tune in to the next video. Bye.